Good day everyone and welcome back in Learning Java Fundamentals. For this video, we're going to discuss about Java variables. We are still going to use our Hello World Java executable program. A variable is a container which holds the value while the Java program is executed. A variable is assigned with a data type. If we want to introduce a variable that can hold an integer type of data, we have to declare it as this. Let's use the int keyword and then your suggested variable name. Variable name is a user-defined word. So for example, me, I would say var int, okay, that is user-defined. You, you have the choice, whatever variable name you want. And then with the equal sign, that would serve as a assignment of a value for our var int variable, which is an integer type. So since, it, since it's an integer, so our value would be from, from negative to a positive value. So say, uh, say for example, 1. Okay, and then end the statement with a semicolon. Okay, so this is how we declare a variable. There are three types of variables in Java. We have local variable, we have instance or class variable, and static. Okay, where can we locate these variables? When we declare a variable that is inside a method, for example, this one, this main is a method, and then we declare a variable there, it is called local variable okay for example let's copy our example here from above this int var int and then let's paste this inside our main method this var int is now a local variable you can also create for instance a uh, next method say public static void new method for instance okay and then you declare a variable here saying int var2 with a value of 2. This statement here in line 25 is still a local variable because it is included inside a method. All right. So next type of variable is an instance variable or shall we call a class variable. So we can locate that variable here after we declare the class name. So if we declare a variable, let's copy this statement from above and then put it here. Now this var int variable that we pasted right after we declare a class hello world is now called as the instance or the or the class variable next is we have what we called as a static variable static variable is a class variable with a static keyword before we declare a variable a static variable cannot be a local variable this is wrong okay so a static variable only be declared inside the class so what is the difference of static among the others okay variable guys is a memory allocation whenever we instantiate a class to a new object its variables are set ready for memory allocation if we use the static keyword before a variable it only means that when the program is executed a memory allocation is already be given to this variable we have different data types of a variable i will post it here for your reference these data types are what we call as primitive types these are the most basic data types available within the java language byte short int long float and double can accept numerical data float and double accepts decimal type of numerical data 
char accepts character boolean accepts true or false data value we also have string string in java is actually a non-primitive data type because it refers to an object an object is an instantiation of a class the string has methods that are used to perform certain operations on strings we will be having a separate deep learning about operations under strings in the next video let's use these different kinds of data types to declare a variable okay so let's copy this and then let's have it as an instance variable or a class variable Okay, so here guys is how we're going to declare a variable using the different kinds of data types, okay? Now, for float and double that would accept a decimal, it can also be declared as a whole number. During the execution, we will notice that the output for this, that instead of 5 as a whole number, it would show like 5.0 together also with the double so 6.0 okay character okay for character it is enclosed with single code boolean accepts true or false there's no need for us to include in single code or double code okay for string data type we were going to enclose it with a double code here in our main okay since this is a class variable for us to access this list of variable that is declared inside a class we need to instantiate an object of our class hello world so how can we instantiate a new object of our hello world class okay so first let us declare the class where we're going to instantiate so hello world and then suggest a variable name that would serve as an object let's put an equal sign and then introduce a new keyword which is new literally it means new and then the constructor of this hello world class which is hello world this is now how we instantiate an object of a class the object is this variable hw of a type hello world okay now to access this variable we're going to use the dot notation that notation is just a simple dot period okay so using our object here hw that holds all the variables of our class hello world hw will be associated with a dot notation period and then let's call a variable here let's just say string okay so our string variable is called var string so let's copy this instead of typing let's display the value of our var string which is hello so for that let's say system dot out dot print print ln in close in close parent in open and close parent okay let's compile this program and run this program for us to display whatever it is in line 46 as an output of our program all right so our program is perfectly executed that it displays the string hello okay so that's how we're going to use a class variable right if ever this variable is declared inside a method okay there you go how can we use this to output a data so we will no longer be needing this hw as our object let's just use 
a mere variable name. So let's compile this and run the program. So there you have it. It still executes as what we expected. And then, for example, let's make this variable as static. I'll say this one, string. Let's use the string. Okay, static can never be a local variable. So let's tra transfer the string inside the class and then let's put the keyword static before our data type. Now, as I mentioned a while ago, that static variables, when the program is executed, it is already allocated a memory in our device. When we use this variable var string inside a method, there's no need for us to instantiate an object that would let us access it through a class okay so that's one of the benefit of a static so whenever we use this variable string to to display an output it's just the same as a variable that is declared lo locally and then let's save the file compile it and run the program and there you go it's still output the same hello all right so that's it everyone. That's how the Java variable works in Java program. I hope that it helps you a lot in learning your Java fundamentals. For the next video, I'm going to discuss to you about working with string. Since string is a non-primitive data type and it can only be referred as an object. Okay, so see you in the next video.